Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. Okay, now let me state the theorem. This is what we want to prove. So, theorem. This is this is called Krull's generalize principal ideal theorem. A uh, Krull stated it first. Krull stated and proved first for the principal ideals, and then later on. For arbitrary ideal, so but uh, somehow in the literature the same name carries over principal ideal theorem. It's uh, the, it's for the ideals in general, but first he stated for principal ideal, but the theorem is really for arbitrary ideal. Okay, so the part one is actually the this Krull's theorem. So that is part one, that if if P Prime ideal. No, as usual, A is no Ethereum. Um, is a minimal or an ideal A, which is generated by R elements A one to A R. Then height of P will be less equal to mu of A, which is less equal to R. Okay, before I go on, I want to first make a few comments. So, first of all, R equal to one is what what is known as Krull's principal ideal theorem. Okay. Uh, second one, if A is a proper ideal, then height of A, height of this ideal A, cannot be more than the minimal number of generators for A. Remember, height of A means minimum of height of P for where P is the minimal over A. Okay, the third one. Uh, suppose P is a prime ideal, and one says that it has to have uh, height is already lemma also says height is finite, so height of P is R. Then there exist R elements a one to a R in P such that P is minimal or. Ideal generated by A one to A R. Moreover, moreover, height of ideal generated by A one to A I is I. For each I, I is equal to zero to R. You see, note that this three is actually the converse of one. This is the converse of one. Okay, so 
let us prove it. So note this statement one say that minimal prime ideal over a given ideal has height no more than the minimal number of generators for the ideal A. So, if you talk in terms of geometric language you have this V of A, this is a closed subset in spec of A and uh, the prime ideals here. So, the this is a union of finitely many irreducible components and irreducible components will be given by the minimal prime ideals. So, this says that the co-dimension of the irreducible component of this is less equal to r that is what the geometric content of this theorem is. Okay. So, we want to prove that. So, proof of 1. Okay. So, p is minimal over a that means there is no prime ideal in between. So, they, therefore, at localization this is minimal over a localized at p and therefore, when this is minimal support of this a mod a localized at p this support is just a singleton namely the maximal ideal of a p. Because if they if there is somebody else then it will be a prime ideal in between these two and then p a p will not be minimal over a a p. So, therefore, this means that the ideal in the localization this is p a p primary. So, in a local ring you have a this is a local ring with maximal ideal p and in that we have a primary ideal and then our, our dimension theorem says that I am we are applying dimension theorem to to the local ring a localized p and this prime this primary ideal a localized p. So, the dimension theorem says that the dimension of this ring will be equal to the degree of the Hilbert Samuel polynomial defined by this primary ideal and that will be less equal to the minimal number of generators for for a p. Okay. So, therefore, we know height of p this is equal to dimension of a localized at p and this is the dimension theorem here which say that it is the degree of h a a p, but this degree is less equal to minimal number of generators for the primary ideal, but this number is obviously smaller equal to the minimal number of generators for the ideal in a original ring, because localization will not increase the number minimal number of generators if at all they can go down. Okay. 2 is obvious from A because say that the height will be achieved by the it is a minimum of the heights of the minimal prime ideals and height for each minimal prime ideal by 1 is less equal to mu. Therefore, all the heights will be less equal to mu and therefore, height of the ideal will be less equal. So, clear from definition from definition of height of A and 1. Now, 3. So, proof of 3. 3 is a construction and this construction will use avoidance prime avoidance lemma. Okay. So, what do you want to construct? We want to construct a chain. So, we are assuming height of P is R and from here want to construct R elements A 1 to A R in P. 
such that if p is uh, such that p is minimal or the ideal generated by a1 to a and moreover part is if you take any part of this a1 to ai the ideal generated by that will have height exactly i okay so that is the problem we want we are looking for r elements in a prime ideal of height r so that p is minimal over the ideal generated by a1 to ai okay this i am going to do it by induction on r proof by induction on r r equal to 0 it's clear r equal to 0 the assertion is clear because r equal to 0 means what height p is 0 height p is 0 is it is minimal prime ideal in a ring so i could take empty set i could take uh, zero ideal so i got a minimal prime over the zero ideal so r equal to 1 there is nothing so uh, assume r is at least 1 and choose we know height is r therefore there is definitely a chain of length r which ends at p so by lemma part 2 in a lemma there exists a chain like this p0 contained in contained in pr equal to p in spec a then first of all note that height of the earlier one pr minus 1 has to be r minus 1 it is bigger equal to is clear because there is a chain of length r minus 1 which ends at pr minus 1 and it cannot have more because otherwise i will put that chain before this pr minus 1 and then height of p will increase by more than r so therefore this is correct so therefore by induction and hence by induction there exist r minus 1 elements a1 to ar minus 1 in pr minus 1 such that pr e pr minus 1 is minimal over a1 to ar minus 1 and also the property that if i take i of them the height of and height of ideal generated by a1 to ai is i if i is from 0 to r minus 1 okay now we are looking for one extra guy uh, if I take this ideal generated by a1 to ar minus 1 and I take its minimal primes. Uh, so, I take minimal associated primes of a modulo this ideal. Minimal elements in this associated primes that means they are associated to this ideal and they are minimal. So, this is a finite set. This finite set I want to call I want to num, I want to give the labels to them. These are some prime ideals from q1 to qs and by 1 what did we prove in 1? If I take any minimal prime over this the height will not be more than r minus 1. So, by 1 height of each one of them height of q j will be less equal to r minus 1 for all j from 1 to s. Qs are the minimal primes over the ideal generated by r minus 1 element therefore height of Qjs will not be more than r minus 1. 
and height of p we are assuming height of p is r this is by assumption so p cannot be contained in this in any one of them for all j from 1 to s because if p were contained then height of p which is r then height of qj will be at least r but height of qj we know by 1 it is r minus 1 therefore p cannot be contained there therefore p cannot be contained in the union so that is prime avoidance therefore p cannot be contained in union of these q's this is prime avoidance so i can choose an element in p which is not in any any one of them so choose that element i will call it ar ar which is in p and not in any any one of these q1 union 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 qs then i want to prove that uh, that this is the required set a1 to ar minus 1 so what do we want to prove we want to prove that p is minimal over this and any i a1 to a ideal generated by that that has height i this is what we want to prove okay so take any minimal prime over this so first take arbitrary prime ideal p p prime which contain this i want to show that we want to conclude something about the height of p prime uh, uh, a1 to r is contained in p prime therefore i say therefore each qj will be contained in p prime because p prime contains a1 to r minus 1 and therefore it will contain one of the min one of the minimal prime for some j 1 to s moreover i want to say that this is proper inclusion because ar is an element here and ar is not here that is how we have chosen ar so therefore this is not equal so therefore the height of p prime so therefore height of p prime will be at least one more than the height of qj but we have seen the height of qj is uh, okay uh, okay also i will choose actually i should have uh, chosen correctly so in this uh, in this in this actually uh, among the among the minimal primes i will choose not only this i will choose the one which has exactly height r height r minus 1 or i i may not need it this is equal to r yes because see it's it's part of our induction hypothesis that we have chosen a1 to r minus 1 so that this height is also r r minus 1 so therefore all minimal primes uh, there is there is at least one minimal prime of that which has height r minus 1 and i will only choose uh, so that is correct what i said i will choose among these guys the one which has height exactly r minus 1 so these are the minimal primes of a1 to r minus 1 with height of qj equal to r minus 1 so for the later uh, when i when i chose the ar so that 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 shows that height of p prime is at least r on the other hand okay so height is r and it contains these r elements so therefore height of
minimal over oh, so that implies p prime is minimal over a uh, minimal over a1 to ar if if this then height of p prime is actually r actually why do i need really that i don't even need this right i don't need this yes i don't even need so i you take all minimal primes in of the ideal a1 to a r minus 1 yes yes instead of equality this this one here right yes okay that's enough okay so therefore what we checked is uh, p is okay no 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 this is this is also i don't need this also so height of p prime so what did we prove we have proved that if i take any any p prime which contains a1 to ar then we proved that that p prime has height r bigger equal to r okay so therefore i say therefore i claim now that given p p is minimal over a1 to ar this is what we wanted to prove right and height of a1 to ar is r okay so let us first prove that p is minimal over a1 to ar if not if not then there is a the prime ideal in between q prime otherwise we are in such a situation um, it's not minimal so this is not equal so this is a prime ideal q prime which contain a1 to ar and it is in between but then this a1 to ar minus 1 are contained in q prime so at least one of the qj will be contained in q prime so that will imply there exist qj qj which is contained in q prime contained in p this is not equal we have noted that this, we have noted that this one has height r minus 1 that was part of the induction and then this one then this has height r we know by definition by given assumption so therefore it has to be equal here what do we want to conclude no this this is not equal here this is not equal because ar is here and ar minus 1 is ar is not here we have chosen ar so that that ar is not in any minimal prime over a1 to ar minus 1 so therefore this cannot be equal so this cannot be equal this cannot be equal therefore but that is a contradiction so that checks that p is minimal over a1 to ar let me repeat once again i want to conclude that p is minimal over a1 to ar so suppose not then there will be a prime ideal in between strictly contained in p but a1 to ar minus 1 are contained therefore in q prime therefore it has to contain at least one of the minimal prime of a1 to ar minus 1 and that is in our notation that was qj and in that qj ar is not there but ar is in q prime because q prime contain this ideal so therefore this cannot be either equal and we have also checked that um, q1 to qj has height exactly r minus 1 that that is because we are we are using induction the induction induction hypothesis say that the ideal generated by part of the a1 to ar a1 to a, in particular a1 to r minus 1 has height exactly r minus 1 that means all minimal primes will have height r minus 1 so therefore 
but this cannot happen because the height of p will increase then height of p is r given so that is not possible so that proves that p is minimal over this yes and that proves everything because then and also so the the proof is complete by induction hypothesis because if i take any part of a1 to r the height is i on the last stage a1 to r the height is height is i because p is one of the minimal prime height p is r therefore minimum the height of an ideal is a minimum of so therefore it can't be less okay so it is r so that complete the proof okay now few corollaries corollaries and also i want to give another proof see this proof i want to give another proof which is not as complicated as this and also it avoids dimension theorem so in that sense it will be better but that i will do it next time but i want to deduce one corollary at least or two corollaries corollary one if i take any a is noetherian and if i take any element in a which is a non unit and p is any prime ideal minimal over p minimal over this then height of p is less equal to 1 this is in particular height of a principal ideal is less equal to 1 this was actually cruel principal ideal theorem this is the case r equal to 1 uh, from the statement 1 okay one more corollary i want to write corollary 2 suppose i have a prime ideal p0 contained in not equal to p1 contained in p2 in spec a so that means what what i am assuming given any think of it like that given the two prime ideals one contained in other suppose there is at least one prime ideal in between then i want to conclude there are infinitely many then there exist infinitely many prime prime ideals q in a such that with p0 contained in not equal to q contained in not equal to p2 if there is one then there are infinitely many this is very astonishing statement but it's true okay so proof okay so we may assume p0 is 0 and also assume and a is local with maximal ideal p2 this is the usual trick when one wants to concentrate in between the uh, some chain you go mod the the first one and localize at the biggest one then you okay and now let us take so let a belong to p2 then there exists definitely a prime ideal q such that height of q 
is less equal to 1. Namely, you can take this A and take its minimal prime, minimal prime ideal over that A. Then the height of that Q will be less equal to 1. So, this is true for every A in P2. So, that means P2 is a union over, over what? Over prime ideals Q in spec A such that height of Q is less equal to 1 and the union of such Qs. Clear? Because you take any element there is at least one prime of height less equal to 1 which contain that element and therefore, P2 will be union of this. So, if there are finitely many Qs, so now let us look at this set. We are interested in this set Q in spec A such that Q is in between 0 and P2 this and we want to show this set is not finite. If it was finite, then this will be a finite union. And then by again prime evidence, P2 will be contained in one of them. So, in particular, P2 will be equal to that, right. But then that is not possible. When the height of height of P2 will be less equal to 1 but height of P2 is 2 because there exist at least one prime in between. So, this is if this set is finite then um, P2 will be contained in Q for some Q in this set. Let us call this set as x but then p2 has to be q of height less equal to 1 on the other end p2 has but p2 height of p2 is at least 2 since we have p0 we have 0 and p1 here and p2 here and this we have given not equal to. so height is at least 2 so that's a contradiction and therefore this set is so co contradiction so uh, x is infinite okay 